What's going on guys? Back at it again with another Fallout 3 video. In the last video we basically just did the whole intro portion of the game and made our way out of the vault. Next, uh, I do want to check out Megaton and see what kind of adventures, if you will, we can get into over there. Like I said before, uh, in this gameplay I'm gonna be a lot more methodical. I'm actually gonna search and read through things, so... Uh, just so that we can get a whole grasp on some of the lore within Fallout 3 and potentially me personally learn a lot more in the Fallout universe through this gameplay. So with that being said, let's just go ahead and jump into it. But first things first, do me a huge favor, drop a like on the video if you're excited for this video and let's get on with it. Alright, so we're definitely here in the scenic overlook. Here, let's go ahead and jump down here. I mean, I guess we could have just went around, but it is what it is. Let's go ahead and prep our thing now that we're in uh, a scary area. Uh, how do I crouch? Alright, so that's how that thing is. No, that's auto walk. Honestly, I don't, I don't know. Crouch. No, I'm not trying to wait. So, E, cancel. Control? Alright, control is crouch. And we don't have sprint. We have just have like this super slow walk. Alright, so looks like that's Megaton right there. According to that one terminal image that we found on the Overseer's terminal. Oh look, it's a red rocket. We have destroyed and dilapidated red rocket. Man, this game seriously looks amazing. So when I originally played it, I played it on the... I want to say the Xbox 360s when I first played it. Look, there's that. There's the other guy. Welcome. Holy crap, that's a giant ant. That looks badass. What's up, Deputy Ask Wheel yourself. or Weld? A nice visit, partner. Thank you. I'll be there. Another newcomer. Name's Lucas Sims, town sheriff, and mayor too, when the need arises. I don't know why, but I like you, boy. Something tells me you're all right. So welcome to Megaton. Just holler if you need something. Uh... <laughs> Nice hat, Calamity Jane. So that's the way it's gonna be, huh? That's fine. That's fine. Just as long as we understand each other. This here is my town. These are my people. You so much as breathe wrong, and I'm gonna fucking end you. You can try. You don't scare me, bruh. You got something you wanna prove, boy? Uh... Oh, I'm not going to go as far as kill him, but... Uh... I want that hat. Yeah, I'm probably going to get into a fight with him, aren't I? I want that hat. What do you think about that? I think you're suicidal. Try me. I'm just messing with you. Relax, bruh. I've got my eye on you, Drifter. Alright, let's discuss this bomb. What the hell's up with this thing? What about it? Uh, don't you think someone should disarm that thing, or what? Uh... One, one day, that thing's gonna go off. You're living on borrowed time, bro. Maybe. Maybe. So long as you stay away from the bomb, I see my chances of a long life improving. I hope we understand each other. Uh, if that bomb ever explodes, it would be doing the world a favor. Oh, really? Is that <laughs> so? Maybe. You may not think much of this town, but you're a guest in my home, and I advise you to behave as such. I hope I've made myself perfectly clear. Shut up, Sims. Uh... Mm. 
All right, know anything about the area outside of Megaton? It's called the Wasteland for a reason. But there are settlements, too, spread all around. The human race is stubborn like that. To the south, you've got Rivet City. But don't bother going to D.C. The place is a war zone. War zone, you say? Mm. I'm looking for my father. Middle-aged guy. Maybe you've seen him? Nope. Sorry. I got enough fires to put out in this place that I don't have time to keep tabs on every visitor. I'd ask around town. Sure. Why not? Later. Mind your manners now. I should destroy you, Sims. Maybe I will. You want something? Nope. All right, let me see. Moriarty's Saloon. Let's go there. Oh, Jericho. Oh, look. Another one of your wasteland assholes. Look here, asshole. I don't like you. Stay clear of me and we'll have no trouble. I'm looking for my father. Middle-aged guy, maybe you've seen him? Are you fucking kidding me? Get out of my face. Be nice to me. Uh, whatever your problem is, I suggest you get over it. Now. Well, now. That's something I didn't expect. You're scrappy for a little vault twerp, aren't you? Maybe I had you wrong, kid. You're okay. Now, what did you want to know? Ooh. I'm glad we under, uh, understand each other now. Uh, I'm glad we understand each other. Now, have you seen my dad? I usually avoid most of the wasteland types that come through here. But there was one guy. Unlike most of the wannabe heroes that come in here, he looked like he could actually read a book without giving himself a headache. <laughs> I spent a bunch of time in Moriarty's before moving on. I'd try talking to Colin. Hey, that's where I was going. You don't look like you belong here. What's your story? There ain't much to tell. I used to live out in the wastes. I was a real bastard back then. But I put all that behind me. Have you ever considered getting back out there? What? Back out where? Out in the waste, man. You must be bored to tears in this town. I left all that behind me. There's nothing but bullshit out there. Killing, stealing, violence. I'm not that guy anymore. Yeah, killing, stealing. Sounds fun, doesn't it? You know, I do miss it sometimes. It's a life of freedom. Oh, know? God. But come on. Now I'm a washed up old raider. What crew is going to take me on? These kids don't know nothing about respect. You should come with me. I could use a hand. No offense, kid. But you're not exactly the type I'm used to running with. Now I've heard about you. A little goody two shoes out of the vault. I don't think our styles would really mesh. Nah, it ain't so bad here. I got some good memories, but that's all I got. No sense in ruining the good ones, you know? Um, I suppose I gotta get my uh, negative karma to be able to get him. So let's see. Uh, what do you know about the wasteland? I've said just about all I'm gonna say about that. Wow, dick. Uh, what do you do around here? Me? I don't do a damn thing. Well, <laughs> unless you count staying pissed drunk and making Moriarty rich or something. Sure, I'm the best shot in town with the rifle, so everyone comes running to old Jericho when the raiders show up. But between raids, they're content to take my money and drag me home when I've had too much. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh, what's the, what's the word around town? Drinking money might loosen my lips a bit. Give it a try. See what happens. Um. Nah, I'm good. Your call, kid. I have to go for now. Come back if you need something. Deuces, homie. So you said we gotta go to Mor Moriarty's. So let's go there. It's right up, way up there. All right, let's see if we can find our way up there. Jump, woo! You might want to fix that leaky pipe there, Sims. All right. Um, it should be right on the other side of this, right? Okay, right here, maybe. Nope, that. Oh, this is the back of Moriarty Saloon. 
How do I get to the front side? That's what I want to know. This way? There we go. We made it. What the fuck does he want? What do you want? My, my. Just when I had all but given up hope. Mr. Burke. My dear boy. I'm very happy to make your acquaintance. I am Mr. Burke. And you, well, you are not a resident of this putrescent cesspool. That makes you a rather valuable individual. Uh, Mr. Burke, is it? Please continue. I find myself enthralled. Alright, fuck it. Uh, you got a point. Make it. As you wish. I'm looking to employ an individual with no ties to Megaton. No interest in its future. Megaton is obsolete. The last vestige of a cobbled, desperate past. It needs to go away. And you are going to see that it does. Wait. Hold up a minute. You're going to destroy the town? No, no. I'm merely a recruiter. You get to have the real fun. The undetonated atomic bomb for which this town is named is still very much alive. All it needs is a little motivation. I have in my possession a fusion pulse charge. Once rigged to the bomb, it will be detonated by you at a secure location. Easy money, my friend. You got me interested. Uh, Megaton is under my... No, fuck that. Uh, Alright, Mr. Burke. I'll do it. Megaton will burn. Ha ha ha. Excellent. I have a feeling about you. Here's the fusion pulse charge. It needs to be installed inside the bomb. When it's done, meet me at Ten Penny Tower. It's southwest of here, well out of harm's way. You can't miss it. Questions? No, ma'am! Uh... All right, let's go. It's time for me to go. Don't let me keep you. Come on, you piece of I feel like I'm playing Elder Scrolls talking to this guy. Yeah. First things I first, though. You, Bob, it ain't the radio. Young Nova. You need? I'm looking for my father, middle-aged guy. You seen him? Yeah, I remember that man. I saw him talking to Moriarty. Hard to forget handsome men like that. Uh, enough of the tough chick routine. Tell me more. Oh, you like it rough, huh? Well, that calls extra. Beat it, kid. Go look for daddy somewhere else. Oh, you wanna... Listen, I'm working right now, so make it... Uh... So what's it take to hire you? <laughs> it takes you renting a room. Sleep in it or don't. I don't care. I get paid either way. Uh Yeah, that's good for now. Take care of yourself, hon. She doesn't have Damn anything radio. I'm looking for. Megaton Settler. Go. Hey, smooth skin. You need something? A drink, maybe? Anything? Anything at all? <laughs> ah! Fuck! What are you? Alright, let me see, uh. Yeah. Haven't you ever seen a ghoul before? No! What's a ghoul? Well, not all of us got the chance to hole up in a nice cushy vault when the bombs fell. A bunch of us got stuck out here in the world and got a full-on blast of heat and radiation. Turned us into a pack of walking corpses. Near as I can tell, we age slower than you. A lot slower. There were even a few ghouls that were alive during the war. Of course, with a face like ground Brahmin meat, you can imagine that folks <laughs> don't take too kindly to us. Uh, that's disgusting. Yeah, fuck you too. Whatever, man. I'm used to being treated like shit around here. 
I'm looking for, I'm looking for my father, middle-aged guy. Maybe you seen him? Even if I knew, I wouldn't tell you. Dick. I guess I was a dick first though. Uh Where did you come from anyways? A place called Underworld. It's a ghoul city down in VC. I set off up here to find adventure and fortune. And well, I found this place. I'm sort of stuck here. Colin says that I can't leave until I pay off my debt to him. Of course, he charges me room and board, too. If you ever get to Underworld, tell Carol that I said hi. Sure. Uh, what's all this uh, about Galaxy News Radio? Mr. Moriarty says we can keep it on. It's a good radio station. I like hearing the DJ, Three Dog, and how he's helping the fight the good fight. If only I was a part of that instead of being stuck in this dive. Um... What's the word around town? I couldn't tell you, really. I'd talk to Manya if you care that much. She's lived in Megaton longer than anyone. All right, goodbye, Gob. Don't hit me. You just leave that Don't hit alone, me. Gob. Damn, Jericho's a feisty SOB, isn't he? You, who are you? Ah, oh, Moriarty. I'm Moriarty, at your service. Welcome to Moriarty. My saloon, my home, my slice of heaven in this backwoods little burg. If you've got the caps, I've got your pleasure. Please sit down, make yourself comfortable. Your troubles are a thing of the past. Um, I'm looking for my father, middle-aged guy. Maybe you've seen him? My God, it's you. The little baby boy all grown up. How does he know me? Persistent little bastard, ain't you? Then and now it would seem. It's been a long time, kid. Oh, your daddy passed through here, all right. Here and gone. Got what he came for and then left. I'm assuming you'll do the same, correct? Huh? My father and I were born in the vault. Is that what your father told you? That you were born in that hole? That he was born there as well? Oh, the lies we tell to those we love. Your father brought you to the vault right after you were born. To keep you safe, you see. I remember it well. You stayed in my saloon, after all. That's right. Your father, his brotherhood a steel friend, and you, the suckling babe with nary a tit to suckle. Sorry about your mom, truly. Ah, but life goes on. Daddy lied. Life's full of little disappointments. And now you're all grown up and wondering where he's gone to. What? My told uh, my dad told me uh, we were born in Vault 101. No, wait. Uh. I would call him out on bullshit, but he was very specific. Like, you can't even argue with him. Uh, my dad told me I was born in Vault 101. Ah, I see. You know, I heard about the brainwashing that goes on down there. From some other fella. Escaped. Oh, five years back. All hail the overseer. We're born in the vault. We die in the vault and all that other assorted lunacy. Kid, you've got better programming than our own deputy weld. You best wise up quick. Wouldn't want anyone taking advantage of you, hmm? Whoa. Uh... Look, I'm just here to find my dad. Do you know where he is? You seem like a nice kid, so I'm going to be straight with you. Your dad was here, and now he's not. And yes, I know where he went. But what you're asking me for is information. And information is a commodity. Let's say... A hundred cops. And Daddy's location is yours. Very reasonable. I don't have a hundred caps, bro. All right, kid. Let me help you out. You know, for all time's sake. If you don't have the caps to pay for the information, then maybe you could do a little favor for me. Sure, anything to get information, I suppose. This junkie Oops. bitch named Silver borrowed quite a few caps from me. Means she could start funneling Jet and Psycho to me for a good price. Problem is, she scrammed with the loot and set herself up in Springvale so she can inject herself into a stupor. Get the caps she owes me, and they're yours. Yours to pay me with, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> this guy is sleazy as hell. I like him. My kind of guy for this character. Uh, can you tell me where my... No, well, uh... Alright, fuck it, let's go. And so now we part. Going. 
Now we fart? Okay, okay, yes, now we part. Let's go and take care of this silver chick. Since she wants to screw people over off their money. Woo! That's a shortcut. What is it? Shut up, dude, before I freaking bash your head in with a baseball bat. Get out of my way, Sims! You're looking for the mayor or the sheriff? Either way, they both are gonna blow up soon. <laughs> All right, what's up, Deputy Weld? Partner. Shut up, dude. Wait, hold on. Um, quests. Uh, yep. Okay, good. No wait, hold up, hold up. Yep. All right, good. So let's go ahead and find this silver. Check. Oh crap! I'm getting irradiated. So this this I think is Springvale, if I remember correctly. Like we came from the vault. The vault's like right up there. It's like some weird texture issue over there at a vault. But it's all good. Gotta find this chick somewhere around here. What the hell is this? Oh, Enclave Radio. Where is she? She's around here somewhere, right? Over here, maybe? Um... This house? Someone's in here. Who the oh. hell are you? Where'd you come from? Did Moriarty send you? Yup. And he says you owe him some caps. That bastard. He's a... He's a liar! He just wants me dead. Those caps are all mine. I earned them. Uh... Slow down. Tell me your side of the story. Look, I used to work for that slob. Doing... You know... Favors for guys. Prostitute. Well, I got sick and tired of it. I told Moriarty I'm taking my share of the caps and leaving. I even slept with the pig to seal the deal. Next morning he tells me I couldn't leave. So I bolted. I took my money and ran. Now he's branded me a thief and a junkie and sent his cronies to find me. I guess I need a new hiding place. Um. I don't know. Maybe more Moriarty is right. You're just a junkie. Look, I feel awful about what I used to have to do for a living, okay? I use the psycho to make the memories go away. Who the hell are you to judge me? Tell Moriarty he can take his fucking caps and shove them up his ass. I definitely didn't want it to go that direction or that route, but... I just want the caps. And I definitely don't want to do that. Um, and, you're listening to and I don't want to kill her. So look, just give me. Hello again, America. This is John Henry uh, give me your caps, and I'll tell them you're gone. I suppose. You do that for me? I never expected anyone to care enough. I don't care. I just want your money. Thanks, kid. You're all right. Three hundred bottle caps. Very nice. She has a pistol on her waist too. Oh, the adventures we had. Wait a minute. She is a junkie. There's Psycho right here. She lied to me. I should destroy her, but I don't want to kill her for no reason. Alright, let's go. Fuck it. We got the money we need. Just trotting down the bunny trail. The game seriously looks amazing and eerie and... I love it. For as old as this game is, it still definitely looks amazing. I just wish there was a sprint option. Like I know you can mod it, but I kind of I kind of want to play this game like vanilla. You know what I mean? Even though this is like the game of the year edition, so it has, it has all the like the DLCs and stuff. I kind of want to um 
kind of want to at bare minimum put ooh a trader i kind of want to Switching at bare minimum welcome sir or madam to crazy wolf the sprint. traveling junk store the depot of detritus the shop of slop and the caravan of crap <laughs> now what odds and ends can i the craziest of all possible wolf gangs offer to you why does his name sound familiar uh, I'm here to buy. Crazy Wolfgang's got just what you need. Assuming you need the random mm. junk that I've got. The rocket launcher schematics. Sorry, but I'm good. You don't have nothing for me. See you out on the road. Hey, be more careful. Bitch, I didn't do anything. I've talked to your boss and that's it. Mickey. Please, do you have any water? So thirsty. Uh, I don't have any water. Please. Um. Fuck no. <laughs> Let's go. There's a uh, plenty of radiated water if you want some over here by this bomb, bro. Shut up, Lucas. Oh my god. There's this maniac again. Confessor Cromwell. Is it this way? Confessor Cromwell is one of those uh, people that you can find in Fallout Shelter too. Hold on. I think it's higher than this. It is. It's definitely higher than this. Like, Lucas Sims you can get in Fallout Shelter. Professor Cromwell. Jericho that we saw in the last video. Um, Moira Brown, which we haven't even met yet. Bunch of these characters are in Fallout Shelter, and it's pretty amazing. I kind of wish they put some uh, some new Vegas characters in there too. Let's go. Where you at, old man? You talk to me. What's it to be? A few caps to find out where your father went, or are you going to have a go of it on your own? The wasteland can be such an unforgiving place. If you say so, old man. Uh, I did your stupid favor. Now, can you tell me where my father is? You took care of our little lost lamb, eh? I knew I could count on you. How about you just hand over a hundred caps and we'll call it even? Sure, here you go. Now, that wasn't so difficult, was it? Your dad came through here, all right. Didn't stay long, though. Said he had some important business to attend to and headed off to the city. For something to do with Galaxy News Radio. Guess that'd be the place for you to start. Good hunting, and thanks for the caps. All right, well, I mean, we found where my father went. And so now... Oops, I didn't want to skip that, but it's all good. I kind of want to go see Moira. She's in, if I remember over here somewhere it's called the crater side supply this place right here uh the crater side supply all right who's this guy oh it's a mercenary hi moira long time no see hey i hear you're that stray from the vault oh, i haven't seen one of you for years Good to meet you. I'm Moira Brown. I run Craterside Supply. But what I really do is mostly tinkering and research. Say, I'm working on a book about the wasteland. It'd be great to have the foreword by a vault dweller. Help me out, would you? Uh, where'd you get that vault suit back there? I'm pretty sure I remember a girl coming into town with that about 10, 12 years ago. She didn't know a thing about the wastes, and I knew she'd get herself hurt without some sort of protection. So I offered to armor her vault suit. Never saw her again. Probably died out there, poor thing. In a way, she gave me the idea to write this book. It's yours, if you help. Wait a minute. Is she talking about my mom? That was supposed to be my mom's? If it's my mom's, I'm definitely gonna help Moira. Shit, sure. I've got plenty to say about life in the vault. Great. Just tell me what it's like to live underground all your life. Or or to come outside for the first time. Or whatever strikes your fancy. 
Alright. It was paradise down there, no worries. Uh... Well, actually, that's kind of true. It was paradise down there, no fear. I mean, besides Butch, but, I mean, come on now. Who's scared of Butch? No worries, no fighting, and then there was that time I fought, so that's technically lying. Uh, which doesn't really bother me for this character. Uh, this outside place is amazing. In the main room, I can't even see the ceiling. Uh, I was sent as an ambassador from the Utopia of Vault 101. Bow before my glory. <laughs> uh, how do you people live out here? No. Alright, let's go with the first one. It's the closest thing to reality, I suppose. A runaway dad, huh? I've seen plenty of them before, but none with the big 101 on their back. Good luck finding him. Maybe the armored vault suit will help you out there, huh? That'll be good for the book. In fact, want to help me with the research? I can pay you, and it'll be fun. Sure, if it's for my mom, I'm down. Uh, what's this book you're working on anyways? Well, it's a dangerous place out there in the wastes, right? People could really use a compilation of good advice, like a wasteland survival guide. For that, I need an assistant to test my theories. I wouldn't want anyone to get hurt because of a mistake. Nobody's ever happy when that happens. No, then they just yell a lot at me with mean, mean words. Uh... Sure, I guess I'll help with the survival guide. All right then. Now I think the first chapter will have to be about surviving day-to-day -day dangers. Things like where it is and isn't safe to find food, the dangers of radiation, and how to avoid and even profit from dangerous landmines. Ooh, sounds like fun, doesn't it? Which do you want to do first? Cough, cough. Yes, fun. Uh, getting food doesn't sound so bad. What are you looking for exactly? Well, food and medicine. Everyone needs them once in a while, right? So they need a good place to find them. There's an old super duper mart not far from here. I need to know if a place like that still has any food or medicine left in it. Uh, alright, I'll check out the super duper mart. Oh, great! Food is most important, but see if you can get medicine too. And if there's nothing to find, then just come back in one piece, okay? Alright, uh, sure, why not? Can you repair my equipment? You got caps for me? Then there ain't no problem. Where is my baseball bat? She can't repair my baseball bat? Here, you know what? Let's let's just fix that. Oh, my baseball bat is as good as we possibly can. So let's go ahead and go come for now. Let's compare. Let's compare weapons. All right. Uh, items, weapons. Baseball bat does 11 damage. 7 damage. Nah, oh, yeah. We're good with the baseball bat. Is all this stuff considered stolen? Yep. Alright. Um... Doesn't look like there's anything I could do here without getting in trouble with Moira. Dun 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 dun. It's just random little clutter. No. Alright, let's go. Doesn't isn't she a vendor? Hold on, let's go let's go talk to her. I think she, I think she's a vendor too. No wait, how do I get out of here? There we go. Moira, talk to me once more. So, how's the scaving been? Got the food and medicine from that super duper mart? Sure. Uh, no. Uh. I haven't gotten around to it yet. Oh, well, could you get on that? Thanks. Damn, pushy. Uh, do you sell any specialty items? Wait, let me see what you have for sale. Sure thing. So she sells rounds. Some brass knuckles. Um, syringe. Mmm, no, I don't. Raider sadist armor? Oh, look, I can get the rock it launcher here too. Schematics. 
Wastelander outfit. Nah, there's nothing here for me. So let's go ahead and back on out of here. I have to go. See ya. Alright, let's go. So where is this... Uh... Data? World map? So... Oh, that's the GNR building. Super duper marks right here. Let's actually... Wasteland Survival Guide. Let's go ahead and do the Wasteland Survival guards, uh, Guide since we're here. Actually, now that I think about it, let's go ahead and put on that armored vault suit too. Because this right here does 9 and 3. It's, a, it's the same, but it's... Hold on. And I get to keep the helmet too. So yeah, it's 3 more damage resistance with this setup. Hold on, how do I switch views? Um, so no, all right, right here, settings, uh, controls, mapping. All right, let's change VATS. Let's change VATS to Q. Pit boy tab, that works. T for time, jump. Uh, auto move. Let's make this X. Um. Activate. Attack tab? Did I mess this up? Um. Change view F. We'll change that to V. Hold on. No, wait, that's not what I wanted. Cancel. Exit. The buttons are a little weird. Oh, God. Yeah, I think I messed this up. <laughs> All right. Uh, how do I get out of this now? E to activate. What's my pit boy button? Tab. Alright, let's get out of here. Alright. So now we got control of this. Alright, now I can change views. Alright. I mean, so far, so good. And I could definitely still attack. So... I hope we're good. Welcome to Megaton. All right. So, Cray, uh, we have to go this way, right? So, data, world map. All right, good. It's not. It's not too far, thankfully. We should, at bare minimum, at least have enough time in this video to at least do this first part of. Moira Brown's quest. So let's see how this turns out. I know there's like this uh, random encounter spawn that happens right in front of the. Oh god. Oh no, it found me. Oh. Die! <laughs> Alright, well, I don't need that. I don't think eating is a big part of this game, thankfully. Unless you're playing, like, survival mode, I guess. If this even has. Actually, I think this game has, like, a hardcore mode or something. Did he see me? 
Yep. I guess we gotta kill this guy too. Nope, can't. Uh. Die! As old as this game is, it's still pretty freaking amazing, dude. I remember when this game came out, it was like a technical masterpiece, you know? Everybody and their mom was talking about it. Although a lot of people were still hating on it, though, because... It was like a, a very big difference from the original Fallout games, like the first few that came out. Uh, and everybody was like hating. I remember everybody was hating on like Bethesda for completely changing the style of game that this is. But I think it ultimately turned out for the best because this game, like I said, it was like once it came out, everybody loved it, including myself, man. This was one of the very first games I ever completed. And... Truthfully speaking, I wasn't even the one who beat it. I watched my little brother, dude, at the time. He was the one playing it, and I was just, like, in awe just watching it. And then when, uh, when he beat it, I was just like, wow. That was pretty, that's pretty amazing, you know? What is that? Oh, my God, it's a freaking death claw. I'm gonna run for it, dude, because I'm not gonna be able to. I'm not gonna be able to beat him. I've discovered the super duper mount mart. Can I just sneak in there? No. Ah! Let's get in here. All right. Oh, it looks like we got some raiders over here. Ah, uh, Juki! Let's go. Oh, rib shot, rib shot. Uh. Oh God, there's a lot of raiders in here. What are you shooting at, bro? You crazy. All right, how do I get up there? Over here, maybe? Oh shit. Oh! God damn it! All right, that guy's down. Where's the other guy? Ah! Oh, got him! What's up, bro? What? We got a real battle here. Oh, you're done, skis, bro. Where'd you go? All right, let's go ahead and uh. Take a freaking stim pack before we die. You know what? I'll take a med X too. Oh, you're done. I guess he's not that done. Oh, yeah, he is. Is that everybody? I think it is. Um. I don't want any of that. Although that shotgun was pretty intense. I'll take that lead pipe. Actually, you know what? I'll take that frag grenade too and those bottle caps. Did this guy have money? No. What about this dude right here? No. All right, we have a bunch to look for, dude. How the hell did this guy get up there? I don't know. Oh, there's another guy over there. Oh, shit. Shut the hell up, guy. I thought you were going to beat my ass. Um. Honestly, I don't even remember where the hell I'm supposed to look. Oh, hell nah. You want to talk shit, bro? Where you at? Oh man, I can't even hack into that. Um, I don't need ammunition. There's still one more guy. Ah! 
Man, my freaking character hits hard. Brass knuckles, I'll take them. Wait, is that everybody? It's not telling me. But let's go ahead and uh, take another stim pack. Just to be safe. Look at all this ammo. Tales of a Junktown Jerky Vendor. Is there a key for this? Because I can't even get in there or hack this. And I'm pretty sure I have to go in there. I don't know what that, mean, what that is. Mine box? Sure, why not? Look at all this gore. What's the mission? It's it's in here, right? Uh, data. Quest. Find medicine and food in the Super Duper Mart. Super Duper Far... Oh, uh, there we go. Pharmacy key. That has to be that one room that we just passed. So let's go explore. There we go. Use key. Metal box. No. Wait, what is this right here? Darts? I don't need no damn darts. Everything's empty. It's gotta be in here somewhere, right? Metal box. What is this? Oh, it says empty now. Metal box. Okay, empty. Metal box. I'll take this lead pipe just to improve the durability of my other weapon. No. Wait, that knife I could probably use for my character. Ooh, pharmacy supplies. Stim pack, medics. I'll take some jet too. I'll take it all. Why not? Okay, I found the the supplies. I'm guessing. No? Alright. Wait, what's this up here? Take office employee ID? Let's try one more time. Whoops. Nope. Alright. Done. Um. So now we gotta find food, right? Find food in the Super Duper Mart. I don't know about food, but there's a new Coca-Cola Quantum right here. That I can take. New Coca-Cola Quantums are my favorite foods. No food. Nothing, nothing. Well, this one does, this one. No. What about this one? Nothing. All right, looks like we're done in this place. Wait a minute. I'll take these rataways. Don't need mentats. We're back. Somebody open up the. Hang on. Uh oh. Something. Uh oh. Um. Ain't right here. Looks like we got some bad guys coming. It's go time. Oh no. No! I love it when I kill you! Where did she go? Alright, I'm gonna kill this guy first. Oh! You, come here! They ain't gonna help you. Cause you're dead. Do you have money? No. There's still one left. Yes, you have money. Alright, there's this guy that I killed too. 
This person doesn't have any money, though. There's one more person left, and that person came running somewhere over here. No, that's the exit, I think. I want to say the food is in this direction, too, though. Aww. Fucking hide from the <laughs> Who's hiding, homie? You are. Not me. Alright, let me see. Oh, there's a laser weapon here. Bottle cap mine? Don't mind if I do. Nothing. Oops, I didn't mean to take that. No. Metal box. I've already checked that one, I think. Where the hell is all this stuff at? Um, oh wait, food storage. Lamco, steak, what? You know what? Junk food. I'll take it all. Yay! Perfect. Now let's go back to Moira and tell her the good news. Because I'm sure Mommy is going to want to hear this. Let me steal one of these guys' armors, man. One that looks really cool. This one looks pretty cool. What how much does it do, though? Eight? Nah, bruh. Where's the one with the tire on him? Eight. Nah, it looks like none of these guys' armors look good. That one's seven. Could have sworn there was one with, uh... A tire on him. That's this guy. Uh, this does... Oh, it's only seven? You know what? I will. I'll take it. It definitely looks better than this outfit that I'm wearing right now. Um, Where is it? Right there. Flast. Right? Alright. And... I look absolutely ridiculous. No, that's it. Alright, let's go. Look at all these freaking raiders. Hunting rifle? Wait. No, I already went there. Get out of my way, shopping carts. I got business to take care of. We should probably go into sneak since there's a freaking death claw here. Oh shit. Okay, good. He's going the opposite direction. Quietly. <laughs> he walks, he's like moonwalking. Look at him. The fuck? Alright, let's go. We should be in the clear. Can I fast travel? Uh, Map. Right there. Megaton. Do I want to fast travel to Megaton? Why, yes. Yes, I do. Yeah, you need something? Shut up, loser. Moira! I got some for you. Oh god, this guy has no hops. There we go. It looks different at night, doesn't it? Crater side supply. Moira, Moira! Check this shit out. You know, I think I found a new way to prepare rad roach meat. Still tastes like old feet, though. <laughs> anyway, what's up with you? Let's talk about collecting the stuff from the super duper mart. So, how's the scaving been? Got the food and medicine from that super duper mart? Um, of course. It wasn't easy, but I got the food and medicine. Really? You did? You did? Well, all right. Tell me all about it. Uh, I found raiders and a rope. I didn't find no robot. Uh, those raiders must have shot me 20 times, but who's counting? You do what you need to do to get food and medicine, I guess. It's not pretty, but I guess that's the way it's got to be, right? I well, suppose. I'll keep what you got. Just traded for a big food shipment myself. Here, take a bit. My treat. <laughs> the taste kind of grates after a while. Oh, oh, and take this. It's an old food sanitizer. Just carry it with you, and it should automatically make most food and drink more, um, better. Uh, 
I'm ready to continue research on the first chapter. I still need to study a living specimen with radiation poisoning. I need someone to research how to travel through a minefield. And that'll cover the first section of the book. Which strikes your fancy? Uh, I, uh, I, I suppose radiation. Well, that's what I need your help for, isn't it? I know lots about it from books, but I never seem to get a live example. Not for long, anyway. So I need you to get a bit of radiation poisoning so I can study its effects. Oh, not a deadly dose, of course. I can fix you up before that. Uh, I mean, luckily there's a bomb just downstairs. Okay, I'll get it radiated. Just be ready to fix me up when I get back. Oh, you're a peach. Or at least some sort of hearty fruit that grows in the savagely irradiated mockery of agriculture we have nowadays. Sure. Now, 200 rads should be enough for basic sickness. But if you can get 600 or more rads, my test will be even more accurate. Holy Just crap. make sure you can get back here, and I'll see to it that you're well taken care of. Sure. <laughs> All right. Later. See ya. I'm going to try to get 600 rads. But that's going to have to do it for this video, you guys. This game is an absolute blast, man. I freaking love Fallout, man. And going back to this game after so long is absolutely nostalgic. And it feels good. It makes me feel happy that I'm playing this game. But if you guys are enjoying the series, do me a huge favor. Drop a like on this video. Also, subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed because it really does help this channel grow. So with that being said, catch you guys in the next video. Deuces.